So it's a rather cold morning here in Williams, Arizona. Got down to like 22 degrees. Yeah. Kind of interesting because the low on the weather app said it was going to get down to 32. It's only a 10 degree difference. Maybe someone needs to be fired, but Blaze doesn't care. He's ready either way. Where are we going? Grand Canyon. Yeah, got the scrapes of ice off the windshield this morning. It's been a while since we had to do that. <laughs> Time to walk this puppy around. We got kind of a cool RV park this week. Well, cool in some ways and maybe not so cool in others, but the train track to the Grand Canyon is right by our RV park. So we get to hear the choo-choo and the rumbling. <laughs> kind of has flashbacks of our place in Connecticut when we lived right by the passenger train. So yeah, there's a lot more trees and vegetation than I was expecting here in Williams. It's not the deserty terrain that we traverse to get out here. Our first traffic circle of the day. So we're in Grand Canyon National Park. Yes, we are. And we're gonna go to the Canyon Rim and see the Grand Canyon. Getting closer to the Canyon Rim, are you excited? I'm excited. It'll be our first time looking at the Grand Canyon. Blazes too. So I guess the first overlook is Matter Point, Mather Point, one of those two. And it's the Grand Canyon. Looks pretty grand, huh? It does. Check that out. So this is the Canyon Rim Trail. I think it goes for like 12 miles. I don't think we're going to be hiking the 12 miles today. Hello. <laughs> And he is a celebrity. Oh my God. So we're hiking a little bit further away from the visitor center, so a little more time to talk to you guys, a little less noisy. But we're gonna be hiking towards Yaki Point, I think is how you pronounce it. But yeah, if you get off of the main observation points, I mean, you still get the good view with less people. <laughs> yeah, it's so much quieter, yeah. more enjoyable. Much more relaxing. Makes me wonder how wide it is at this point. It's really hard to tell just with your eyes how deep and how long this really is. So there's a pipeline that goes across the canyon and uh, they actually pump the water up to the top and it's stored right in those tanks back there. Gotta get your drinking water somehow. Yeah. So it was about 22 degrees when we started this morning and now it's like, it's getting up there. I'm gonna have to shed my flannel here soon. So we'll probably end up driving to the Yaki Point instead. It's a little bit further than we thought and there wasn't a whole lot of protection from the sun for the dog. So turning around, probably heading back towards like Grand Canyon Village, hiking along the rim trail that way. And then we'll probably hop in the truck and start driving to each of the different observation points. So we just read some facts. It's 10 miles wide at the widest part and about 5,000 feet deep at the lowest part. So almost twice as much as Black Canyon of the Gunnison. Yeah. There's these cool little bluebirds flying around here too. I don't know what they're called. Not a blue jay, something different. Yeah, I don't know. Need a bird book. And here you have a very sure drop off that I'm not gonna get anywhere close to. If that doesn't make your hand sweat, I don't know it will. <laughs> All right, time to do an extension.
Yep. That is a drop off, huh? It does, that's not. But I hear it, looks like you're like running. <laughs> and the blaze head getting in the way. He wants to keep on moving. Be careful over there. So those are the two points we're going to be hiking to and I think we're just going to be driving to the rest of them probably. So right now we're heading towards like the Grand Canyon Village area and hopefully some other viewpoints. It is very, there's a lot more people here than when we originally got here so we may or may not be able to actually park at any of these places, we'll see. So we're trying to head this way and go down this Hermit's Rest to go check out all the viewpoints but what we didn't see is that it's only accessible by a shuttle bus from March 1st to November 30th, so we will not be able to see any of those viewpoints today because we have the dog, unfortunately. But off the other direction, east of this Yaki Point, there's some other viewpoints we can go check out, so I think we might try to do that next. By the way, the pulled pork at the food court, really good. Well, this was full at one point. It was only 9.25 for all of that. It was like half pulled pork and half coleslaw and potato salad, so pretty good prices here. So now we're gonna go try to check out some of the viewpoints that aren't take you don't have to take the shuttle to. So I am gonna head there now and put you down so I can drive. <clears throat> and this is our first viewpoint over here. Duck on a rock. I don't see it. I'll just believe what they say, I guess. <laughs> it's not an actual duck, I think it's some sort of rock formation over here. There's not a duck in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> so this is Grand Viewpoint. Blocked by a bunch of trees. Maybe over here we can see more. So where are we at now, Deanna? The Watchtower Desert View, I think is what it's called. There's Blaze's peeing in the background. <laughs> I will not film the dog relieving himself. Blaze found the tower for us. Right up here. Good boy. We're gonna take turns going up into the watchtower, I think. Without Blaze. No watchtower view for puppy. And up we go. I'll just show you the view from the top. Got a few people up there. Check out these views. Let's see if we can find Deanna and Blaze down there. I do not see them. I'll check out the Colorado River down there. Wow. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this adventure at the Grand Canyon National Park. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. You can also check us out at dnsadventures.com. And as always, adventure on. There's a Grand Canyon behind us, isn't there? <laughs> yes. It's pretty cool.